G'day everyone. What we're going to see here is just a uh, brief uh, tour around my little airstrips at uh, Wings Out West um, and some steep approaches. Uh, Radio. Taking off. Power up. Tail up. Airborne. Climbing away. Flaps away once clear of obstacles. Okay, I'm going to bring it back in on a short strip down there in front of the house. Got two large trees on the way in. I could fit between the trees, but uh, we prefer to uh, come in steep over the trees, keeping them clear. Uh, avoids any possible turbulence and uh, avoids hitting anything coming out of the trees, birds coming out of the trees and that. So it's a lot safer approach to just bring it in steep over the trees. So coming around now, about the first stage of flap. Keeping it fairly tight. Keeping it over my own property here. Pulling it back to idle. Second stage of flap. Rightio. Now I've got myself back. Fairly draggy situation. About 2 VS. So 2 times my stall speed. 22 knots with full flap. And... Um, but it's very draggy, so any reduction in power, she'll straight away want to slow down. Got the two big trees in front of me and under there now. I can side slip once I know I'm clear of the trees, side slipping in the wind, bringing it down nice and steep, very slow, very steep at the bottom. Clear. I've actually got a little bit too much speed because it floated there on the deck. Flap can go up on the brake. So it wasn't really max effort kind of landing there. We're using sort of about 150 to 200 metres of strip there. Uh, had a big float at the bottom of that, but um, yeah, just very light and variable winds. So down the bottom got it something a little bit different than what I was getting on the on finals there. So um, yeah, making excuses, but it, um, that's the way it goes. But, but certainly if it had gone the other way and we carried only we came in dragging it in on stall speed or 1.3 VS as people use in heavier aircraft um, a little change the wrong way could dump us down into the fence or into a tree or something or you know just into the earth itself um, and so we want to avoid that so um, yeah keeping that bit of extra smash in these light aircraft low inertia high drag um, the extra bit of speed there's no harm done there, as long as you can get rid of it at the bottom. Right, uh, looking back down, that short strip from the ground for takeoff. A little bit uh, of crosswind from the left. Two forty-six. Stick over to the left. Pairing up. Tail up. Looking towards the trees. Gonna just pop it off the ground and then let it accelerate. Max angle climb speed. With one stage of flap out. Over the obstacles. Lower the nose a bit, let it accelerate, flap can go away. I'll do a right turn around and land on the main strip here. The main strip's next to me now. I don't want to bring it in over the trees. So I'm going to pull the power now. One stage of flap. I'm turning inside the trees. I'm going to put top rudder in. The skid ball's coming out to the right. And I'm slipping around the turn as opposed to skidding. We don't want to put rudder into the turn and, and roll it over on its back into the turn. Putting top rudder in, slipping it around the turn, losing height in the turn. There we are lined up, short finals, ready to land up the side of the hill. Clear on the deck. I'll leave that stage of flap out, tail up. Just turn it into a touch and go. Big 
thing with bush flying is to know where your outs are. Always work your strips out. It's safe for me to turn right here. If I have an engine failure, I can duck down and I've got this clear ground ahead of me here. So I'm into this clear ground, maintaining my glide speed. Bringing it down. Full flap. Here's a strip I prepared earlier, just for the demo. And we're on. So know where your outs are. Don't put yourself into situations uh, where you've landed the plane and now you're not really sure how you're going to get it back out. So a situation where the strip's too short or you don't know where your escapes are and you're basically taking off into the blind. So yeah, before you land somewhere, when you're doing your investigation of a landing area, either on the ground or from the air, work out where all your outs are. So it can just flow like that. If something goes wrong, you can just uh, put it down, know where you can get into. Okay, looking back out of this little strip, I've got uh, trees left and right. Uh, in the near ground, trees left and right in the far ground. I've got rising terrain and trees in front. So I've got to work out my escape out of this one now. And uh, if we if we can make a good climb on most days, I'll clear the trees in front. But today, um, with a little bit of tailwind here, we, we're going to have to probably do a turning departure, easing it around to the right, trying not to lose too much of our climb. And then if there's any problems down to the left end of the main strip. it off, accelerating, just easing it around the right here a bit. Max angle climb. Clear of obstacles, flap away. And there we are. Clear of obstacles. So yeah, this plane, it's not a high performance cub, it's only got 115 horsepower. Uh, so, you know, we're We've got a, anything we can land on is um, probably going to, it's going to be our takeoff that, that's a limiting factor. As you saw there, we quite easily got into that strip. But, you know, it's kind of squeezing, milking the effort, milking the plane to get everything out of it for the takeoff there. Audio. Landing with a slight tailwind on a short uphill strip, dead end. Okay, so this is a one-way strip. Once again, obstacles on the arrival path. So it's going to be a steep arrival. And we're going to have to make an early decision to go round. We can't go round from on the ground. One-way strip, no go round. Unless we do it high. Audio. A slight tailwind on this approach. Two VS. Full flat. Sorry, Devo, flight up 246, joining down in front runway 05. Over the obstacles, bring it down steep. The uphill's going to take care of the tailwind. On the ground, flap away, bit of braking, and we're in easy. All clear on the main strip. Okay, so it's okay to take a tailwind if you've got a hill to uh, bleed it off. Uh, Gravity is more powerful than the wind. Uh, the main thing being, though, is have your, have your go round decision made early. And in that case, I would have gone round above the treetops. Once I was below the trees and pointing towards all the obstacles, being a house and a shed, more trees, then, then you're committed. So from that point on, you're going to do everything you can to make sure you get on the ground in uh, good enough time that you can stop without brakes. You don't want to be relying on the brakes when you're pointing towards sheds and everything. Rightio, you're parting back out of the uh, cross strip. Power in, tail up. Stop. Accelerate. I'm going to turn left on this one early. 
gives me more clear space out in front and also now I've got down to my right escapes to my right if I need them. When I start running out of my escapes to the right I've got escape straight ahead into a plough paddock. Engine failure, aviate. Speed. Navigate into my clear area. Communicate. Not much time to put out anything here. I'd probably put the ELT on. We go into this plough paddock. It's a bit wet, so I'm just going to go around now. I don't feel like flicking big clods of mud up into the prop. Okay, that's a bit of an unrehearsed, just a, a quick bit touring around my little play area at Wings Out West. Um, so yeah, I haven't even left my property there other than that one plough paddock uh, in my neighbour's place there. Um, and uh, yeah, so we've got a bit of playing. There's a new strip going to go in amongst the trees here, another dead end strip surrounded by trees. Uh, just to play in there, um, but they're all just good escapes too if something goes wrong when I'm doing low level training and stuff like that. Um, and most of my prop most of my neighbours around here are really cooperative and let me use their properties too, so that's uh, always good. But in an emergency it doesn't matter really what people say, you just use what you have to use in the emergency. <laughs>